Hey folks, and welcome to this review of my Patek Philippe 3919. So this is a, a classic Patek Philippe dress watch. Um, this one's from 1991. They were made between uh, 1985 and 2006. Um, and it's perhaps um, one of Patek's classic um, dress watches. Um, it's uh, six and a half millimetres thick, so it's one of Patek's uh, thinnest models and um, it looks thinner actually on the wrist because as you can see the movement curves away um, so you only really see uh, this top bit here so it looks even thinner on the wrist nice visual trick there to make it look thinner I'll just uh, zoom in slightly to keep it in focus um, so the dial is uh, porcelain and it's a bit tricky to catch on video um, but it does have a lovely luster to it. It's not quite pearlescent, but there's a certain visual depth to it. It's not just a plain matte white dial. Um, you've got printed uh, Roman numeral indices, and you've got these um, black leaf hands, which are actually white gold with uh, a black nickel coating on them. And um, very high contrast, very easy to read. Um, inside, you've got the Calibre 215 PS, which has a 44 hour power reserve and uh, beats at four hertz, so or eight ticks per second on this little second hand, so nice smooth sweep there. Um, the movement itself is only two and a half millimetres thick and um, just under 22 millimetres wide. Um, so yeah, a nice a long running movement from Patek Philippe, so it should be easy to get that serviced in the future. Um, one of the main features on the front here is this famous Clou de Paris bezel, or hobnail bezel, which is the sort of double row of little pyramids around the outside and that's a feature that they've reintroduced on the very latest um, Calatrava models that have come out in 2021. Um, on the sides, the sides that have sort of, sort of satin finish, um, the back is polished uh, apart from this, the very back piece which is um, got a brushed finish again there uh, and you've got hall marks on the case back there and also it's all 18 karat gold, obviously. I say obviously it's a Patek Philippe, and this is an original Patek um, buckle, also 18 karat gold, a Patek strap, which you don't want to have to replace, believe me, the cost of those. Um, the case is actually split, Not it's, that isn't the case back there, That the case is actually split just by the crown here, so that line between the lugs. And I'd love to do a movement shot, maybe I'll edit one in. Um, but I don't want to, <laughs> Mill on the side of the watch by splitting it to take it apart. This, uh, this one's a little bit too valuable for me to um, mess it up. So I do love the proportions of this watch and um, it just does look so right and it's quite difficult to get something so simple so right sometimes but they've certainly pulled it off with this one. Um, the proportions are, are just spot on. Um, this watch replaced the 3520 uh, which didn't have a second hand and it was replaced by a 5119, which did also have a second hand, but it was it had a larger case. And they had to change the proportions, because obviously it's the same movement in the 5119, so this gap between the second hand and the main hands remained the same, but the rest of the watch got bigger, so they did various things to change, like they changed the size of the numbers and the size of the bezel. Overall, I don't think it's got as much white space on the dial it's not not as nicely proportioned but I would like the larger size and especially the display back but I'm happy with the 3119 yeah I'm very very pleased to wear it um so yeah that's it really um I'll just a quick turnaround of it again it, it is combines that sort of luxury and simplicity and it's very legible with a sort of high contrast black and white and it is the sort of classic look of dress watch Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and see you soon. Cheerio.